welcome back to the channel um the c20 is running better i put the other carburetor on that i rebuilt um this one keeps running over so i'm gonna have to get an edelbrock rebuild kit the cheap china kits didn't work um a buddy of mine and i we took the chance on them so they didn't work but the carburetor up there that we just cleaned out and made sure it was clean works great so now i'm working on the exhaust because i want to drive this thing so i'm gonna finish welding up to here i gotta take this pipe out and that pipe out and cut it where i marked it um i marked this one too and then for the time being i am gonna make exhaust hangers but for the time being i don't know where they went i'm going to um just put some tips on it for the time being so it's not shooting the axle full of stuff so i just finished welded that one i gotta take this pipe out and cut it and put it in do the same to the other side make something up for hangers um i know my brake line has got a little leak there but uh it was the truck seemed to be acting fine even though that was leaking a little bit so it was stopping and everything so I'm going to weld up the exhaust and at least take it for a test ride. I want to know how it does. So once I get this exhaust done, we'll finally be able to give this thing a test ride. Um, it sounds to run, sounds like it's running pretty good with that good carburetor on there finally. So that's a huge plus. But uh, let's get this exhaust done and we'll take this son of a gun for a test ride. jumping ahead here I got my masterpiece done no not really I suck at welding pipe anyway I did pretty decent welding plate steel but um, the tips are just tacked on because I do want to go up over the axle someday but they're not going anywhere I got my rubberized hangers on and the rest of it's all welded up so I'm gonna let her down fire it up see how it sounds and we're probably gonna call it a night I ain't gonna get to test drive it tonight a little more aggressive like you're driving normal it'd be fine all day long then it would be that one time that it would act up so i think it's because that line has got a little bit of a 
leak in the back and it gets a little bit of air build up in there and when you go to push it it's got to make up for it so your pedals like what are your master cylinder and your push rod and your master cylinder is like whoa you know we don't have anything here so um, I'm hoping that's what the issue is if not I'm not gonna worry about it I'll just have to be extra careful it only happens once in a blue moon and you can tell right away when it's gonna happen so you have plenty of reaction time so that's gonna be a wrap so far for this video finished up the exhaust got a good running carburetor on it um, I tested the booster running it off a, a T here does work if you have an issue like mine where the back of the carb is busted and we repaired it. we you're not gonna be able to see it but we repaired it uh, we JB welded it kind of like a redneck move there but nothing we could do we wanted to save a good carburetor so that's good to know that's good to go sounds good runs good got the exhaust singers on there once I fix that brake line leak, it's pretty much ready to go. So I'm calling this one done for now. Um, stay tuned. We got the LS truck to work on. Uh, we got the motor to rebuild again. I know it kind of sucks, but the uh, LS truck is getting the cam swap. I'm putting in a Texas Speed V4 Torker cam. So I will be putting that one in and then probably doing some retuning on the carburetor once I get it in. but. Should be a pretty nasty cam. Uh, should put me somewhere around 600, 650 ho crank horse. So pretty excited for that. Um, I seen a 5.7 liter LS1 make 658 horse. Granted, it was fuel injection, and you know how there's so fuel injection so perfect. You know, um, with this intake, I know I won't make that that number at all. But if I can find a single plane Edelbrock Super Victor intake. Um, when I do the cam swap it should make that power if not more uh, I know this intake is limiting me quite a bit because it's a dual plane but everything's back ordered right now as far as clearance in the hood um, this hood has got a crap ton of Bondo in the front of it so you guys are probably gonna see me cut a hole in the hood if I run into clearance issues with the Super Victor so but for now um, that's what we're gonna be doing with this thing when we get this thing on the lift so stay tuned for that I know you guys are really anticipating LS content but I just got some in my words housekeeping to do to get these trucks up and going the brown truck is running good all I got to do with that one is replace the speedo cable that's just unhook it screw it on to the adapter on the transfer case and that's good to go so thanks for watching stay tuned like, subscribe, click the post notification bell if you haven't already. We'll catch you guys in the next one.